Hey everyone, welcome back to Vero Reacts to Who Killed Markiplier. This is uh, chapter 3, uh, it was just released today and yep, let's go, let's not waste any more time. What are you doing? Who the hell are you? Celine. What are you doing here? Celine, how the hell do you know Madam, her? I'm afraid you've come at a very inopportune time. Something dreadful has happened here. I can see that, and I'm glad I got here before it got any worse. This is only a tip of the iceberg, and it's a big iceberg. <laughs> How can I put this delicately? Mark's fucking dead! What? Dead like my hopes and dreams. And he's a flesh-eating zombie, too. Homo necrosis. Exactly. Hence the gun. That is not hence the gun! Stop waving those bloody guns around! Ho hold on! Tell me what happened. How did Mark... Die. It was murder. And worse yet, the body is missing. What? Show me. And don't say that word. What word? Murder? Yes, that word. Well, I mean, murder is a rather accurate description of what Do you not see the lightning? <laughs> you saying it was lightning that murdered Mark? Well, Mother Nature doesn't exactly strike me as having murderous intent. By the time I was sucked into the ball game, Jumanji, stop, and I was- Stop! Look, whatever's happening here is tapping into forces far beyond our control. Pam is so pretty. Murder. <laughs> Murdoch? Malarkey. Marco. Enough! Look. Mark's death is a terrible thing indeed, but I fear that there are forces much darker than anything we've seen here today. I'm well versed in the arcane arts, but if you, untrained and uninitiated, can summon lightning with a mere word, we're all in far graver danger than anything we could ever hope to face. Are we alone. talking about ghosts? We're gonna have to work together if we're gonna survive this. Celine, what are you proposing? We need to speak with Mark. I knew it! He's a flesh-eating zombie! No! Well, maybe one of those smart zombies. Homeo sapio zombifus. No, no! I need to commune with the dead. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, it's a good thing I don't need your permission. But you! You've been awfully quiet through this whole thing. With those beady little eyes. And wearing those rags. <sighs> maybe I shouldn't have trusted someone so goddamn gorgeous. Gorgeous, huh? I'll pass. <laughs> I feel like I can trust you. I sense that you have a far greater part to play in all of this. Will you help me find an answer? Okay. Perfect. Come that on. makes me all feel All right, important. that's enough. I'm not just gonna sit around and let you drag my partner off to their very likely death. I won't stand for it! Well, I trust Celine with all my heart. I see no reason why an any anyone should doubt her. Well, I have to agree with our intrepid detective here just doesn't seem natural. I never liked this uptight asshole. We walks around with a stick up his ass. But I think he's right, something's weird. If it makes you feel any better, you guys can stand watch outside the door, but my work cannot be interrupted. Oh, believe you me. I'll be keeping a close eye on every single one of you, even myself, especially myself. What? Celine, Celine, wait, wait. Yes, Damien. I. Are you all right? I know this news can't be settling well with you. I'm fine for now. I, I, but all this talk of the occult and, and Mark is dead. Wait, wait. I just didn't think you were the type to become mixed up with all of this. There's more to this world that you could ever hope to imagine. I just had my eyes open to a small portion of it. Just be careful. You too. Okay. Halloween is around the corner. I'm sure this must be unsettling for you, being thrust into this series of unfortunate events. It is. But I promise, 
With your help, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Now, I'm not sure who would want to kill Mark, but something tells me this seemingly significant event is actually a footnote in a much larger mystery unfolding in our midst. I've never been very comfortable in this house, but something tells me now that my eyes are open, there are dark forces surrounding this manor. Keep your enemies close. I will not be called a murderer in my own home! Stop! I it was time that we got to get you What's happening? Far away from the fine eyes of anyone I can see is I can. The body, the body is gone. It's fucking gone! I can show us to what we're supposed to be celebrating. I mean, it's good to have the gang back together. And blow. What happened? Why did you stop? Did you see something? Someone? Draw it. I'm not good at drawing, but I'll try my best. Oh, that's pretty good. What is this? This doesn't answer anything. You need to go back. Go back now! What the shit is this? Get out! We are not done here! Celine, I think this is quite enough! It's enough when I say it's enough! Come on, partner, let's go. Come on, hurry I'm it up! I'm scared. What did she do to you? What is this? Butler! Butler! What? What is it? Does this mean anything to you? Well, maybe. No, sorry. Spit it out if you got something! Well, it could be our groundskeeper, George, but he only works on weekdays. Looks like your friend here may disagree with that notion. Yeah, you. Uh, I don't know shit. I plead the fifth, man. Chef, if you know something, for God's sake, spit it up! Okay, alright. You're twisting my arm. Alright. George has been living on the grounds for years. What?! And you just now thought to share that information with us? For all we know, he could be the murderer! The last time, stop saying that word. Look, George just tends to the grounds, man. He's a fucking hermit. I don't care what the fuck he is! Look, all this arguing is getting us nowhere. Just go outside and talk to this George and be done with it. Hold on a sec. You're not coming with us? I... I need to stay here with Celine. I don't need help, especially from you. Our friend is dead! I'm sorry. I just need answers to all of this. I already lost one friend today. I don't want to lose another. Fine, but I need to stay here. Fine with me. Fine, good, yeah, whatever, who cares. All right, you're coming with me. Partner, you too. Hold on a sec. We're missing somebody. Who had eyes on the colonel? Well, he appeared tired and went back to his room. I'm sure he did. And with any luck, he'll stay there. All right, let's roll out. Come on. So are we going underground? Come on, partner. Lead the way, Cookie. Cookie? I'm not your cookie. I spent three weeks at culinary school. I earned the right to be called a chef! I'm very impressed. Just tell us where we're going. Come on, let's go! I think I see him. This is so cool. Hey, we're going on buddy. an adventure. Hands where I can see him! Hey, my hands are where they're supposed to be, unless of course you like to dig the hole for yourself. What the hell are you doing here? I'm the groundskeeper. I keep the ground, all right? I'd say look around. The ground is pretty well kept in its place, right? I'm sorry, man. This dick made me bring him out here. You shut up. How do you not know about the murders at the house? How do you not hear that lightning? Lightning is the sky's business. Look at the ground. When the ground starts shooting up lightning, I'll let you know. All right, then. <laughs> why exactly are you digging that hole? And why shouldn't we suspect you for taking part in the death of your employer? <laughs> Employers come and go. Some die, some don't, some are murdered, some are not. It's not my business. I'm digging this hole for a burst water pipe, if that's all right with your gracefulness. See, I told you, George didn't do nothing, man. See? I just did nothing. Forgive me for not taking you at face value. 
but we're all gonna come inside, we're gonna sit down and have a nice, lovely chat, and get to the bottom of this before I lose my mind and start dabbling and murder myself! Now you listen to me, Sonny. It's been 15 years since I've been in that house, and I'm not about to break that winning streak now. I don't care how many murders there have been, I ain't going near that house. Why? However, there is one reason. One incident. One manifestation. That will get me into that madhouse. Tell me then. You had better pray to God that that reason never comes to pass. Oh. That there's a reason! What's happening? What reason? Go, go! This is gonna be another murder, huh? What happened? What was that? Are you kidding me? That was it? Pam was a Pam was looking a little bit weird there. Was she possessed? What happened to the mayor? Was he dead? Ah, uh, I don't know. So many questions. Well, for now let's go on to Tumblr and see what's new there for today. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. So what do we have here today? Alright, there's really nothing new other than this one video that is named Demons Jim Demons. Alright, let's see what it's about. Jim here. We managed to steal the secret seer's mystical supply. Just go to the dark place near where he was killed. The man in the manor. Wherever he wants, we will find the answer to this. Stay low. Jim, be very Jim. We have to be careful in here. Okay, Jim. Lurking amongst us. Look at that face on the wall. You see the demons within us. We see the demons without us. I feel the spirits working up a storm in here. I'm a little spooked out, Jim. Oh my god. Are you seriously playing with an Uja board? Spirits of this world. Oh no. Speak through me. I'm Jim. This is Jim. Jim is our family name. And Jim must get an answer. Where is Okay, this is actually kind of creepy. Okay, no, 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 no. We're gonna play that one more time. He didn't even tell us what uh, the full sentence of that. I know the M A R K P L I E R is Markiplier, but uh, let's let's hear that one more time, shall we? Summon an answer to this puzzle. Spirits of this world, speak through me. I'm Jim. This is Jim. Jim is our family name. Let me get let me get a notepad out. Give me a minute. I'll get a get a notepad out, and I'll type out the letters. Jim must get an answer. All right. Where is S U? B S 
C R I B E T O M A R K I P L I E R Ah! It's demons! Run, Jim! Run! Run! <laughs> okay. What the hell, man? This just basically says subscribe to Markiplier, really? <laughs> uh, I'm already sub to Mark though, so <laughs> that was really dumb. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Markiplier. Well, that's the message, guys. That's the demon's message. Subscribe to Markiplier. Ah, <sighs> God. Alrighty. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for. Chapter 3 in Barrel Reacts to Who Killed Markiplier. This guy was pretty interesting, you know, the, the groundskeeper. Uh, there was also a lot of new stuff, I mean new cast coming in in Chapter 3 with that uh, Pam and the ghost delving thing. Also the gym twins were, you know, doing spooky ghost stuff but I think it was more of a joke this time since, you know, the code was subscribe to Markiplier. So. I feel like we're not nearing to the, you know, we don't really have new information pertaining to who might be the culprit. I mean, from what I see so far, so maybe tomorrow uh, when chapter 4 releases and some other stuff, maybe we'll find out, I guess. So once again, thanks everyone for watching. Check the annotations at the end for more stuff that I've done before. And I'll see you guys in the next part of Who Killed Markiplier. Stay frosty on.